Meaning some parts of Northeast Ohio are seeing a surge in renters versus homeowners. News 5's Clay Lapar takes a closer look at the study highlighting which local neighborhoods are being impacted by the change. Along a busy Lakeshore Boulevard in Euclid, this story can be summed up in a single lawn sign. For rent and below it, we buy houses. According to a new report, Euclid, along with Bedford Heights, become the latest communities in Northeast Ohio to flip from majority homeowner communities to majority renters over the last decade, joining East Cleveland and Warrensville Heights. Things are changing. The study comes from Yardy Matrix and Rent Cafe, a nationwide apartment search website. Doug Ressler serves as manager of business intelligence. He points to data from the U.S. Census, highlighting how renters nationwide left the cities and grew in suburban areas by 22 percent, while suburban homeowners only grew by 3 percent. It's all there from a data-driven and impartial standpoint for leaders to consider in terms of the type of uh, policies that uh, they want to do to impact their residents in the most opportunistic manner. Despite being at the top of the list here in Bedford Heights with a population of about 11,000, the data doesn't really stand out with leaders saying the city's identity hasn't really changed. Oh, these have been here, I mean, probably 30, 40 years. Councilman Alton Tinker chairs the Community Development Committee in Bedford Heights. We have about 2,600 apartment units compared to about 2,700 residential units and says the city is instead looking into repurposing its aging industries. Most of our buildings are, are, are old. Um, they're not up to par. So what we have to do is repurpose these buildings. So that's our biggest focus right now. You know, we, we have to keep a very healthy um, industrial base here to keep our taxes down. That report goes on to suggest four other suburbs, Lakewood, Mayfield Heights, Bedford and Maple Heights could cross that 50% renters line in the next few years. Clay Lepard, News 5.